Win like a monster with the new Sweatproof Monster Eye Sport headphones. On ear, in ear, wired, Bluetooth. Find your style. Just go to plughitslive.com slash monster. Alante here from Plug Hits Live, a part of the Tech Podcast Network here at CES 2017. We're here to talk with Laura, a part of the company Mike Me, and we're here to talk about something that's uh, also a little different that we noticed. It's a wireless microphone, correct? Yes, it is, but it is also a audio recorder. Means we do have a 16 gigabyte storage inside, and a one inch true condenser capsule that gives you actually studio quality sound. Ooh, studio qu quality sound. So it's what is it recording to when you you know uh, through this device? Is it uh, internal storage? Can you you know uh, uh, stream it over to another device? Well, you can leave it, leave it. You can use it standalone. So it's recording on the device itself inside a 16 gigabyte flash drive. But when you're using it wirelessly via Bluetooth, then it streams all the files you're recording directly to your phone. Okay. So, so then I would imagine it, it's uh, compressed when it's being yes. streamed. Yes, so you have WAV files stored on the um, device itself, and when it's um, streamed over to your phone, you're having MP4 files. But both are always stored on the device. Okay, cool. Now, let me ask, uh, <clears throat> the way the, rec the, the device records, is it omnidirectional, or does it like have a certain range, like a, like a half circle range or something? It's a cardioid microphone, so it comes from, from one direction. You would need to speak into it like that. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Oh, th well, that's good. So, I mean, so it can probably, uh, can, can you stream like multiple devices uh, into one phone? Um, not yet, we are working on it. So now it will be mono recording only, but we will be able shortly to have like two or three microphones synced. So it's a lot of potential there. Yes, it is. Awesome, awesome. I mean, so uh, let me ask, what what is your audience? Who who are you trying to captivate with this device? Well, the audience is pretty wide, I'd say. So when we developed it, we first thought about musicians mainly, but we just came across that everybody is doing um, mobile content. So it's going to be bloggers, video um, bloggers, uh, YouTubers, uh, podcasters. I don't know. Everybody's you know around and then. It's making uh, videos. Everybody's doing it. Yeah, everybody's I mean, doing everybody's, it. everybody's doing it. Smartphone. But so now that you mentioned, you know, smartphone, or you know, we've been talking about it so far. Uh, do you, you have some kind of proprietary software that goes with it? Yes, we have our own app, um, which we need because we are using Bluetooth only as transport layer. So uh, we have our own protocol that ensures none of the files you are streaming get lost. It's called Lost and Found Protocol. That's cute. Well, yeah. <laughs> so. You're having um, a pretty easy setup and interface in the app. It's um, a bit like inspired from the camera roll of Apple. So you have a gallery, you can, um, I don't know if you can see it, but you can um, edit each file you're recording that's streamed to your phone. You can record up to eight tracks. You can add effects, do whatever is need needed. And then of course you can easily share it with the world, with your bandmates, whatever your it is you want to share it with. That's awesome. Now, uh, along with this software, obviously it's got a uh, uh, mixer uh, uh, software along with it, but your mixer software is a lot different from what I'm, I've seen everywhere else. So, you want to go ahead and elaborate on that? Um, sure. I mean, well, what we're having right now is um, like basic, it's a bit Instagram inspired, so it's very visual and we want to have it as, as simple and elegant as, as possible so that people just, you know, see what they're doing. It's a simpler button, you can just move around and, and your recordings um, yeah, are adjusted in the way you want them to. Um, but yeah, I mean, we are thinking of adding other filters and, and stuff like this. This is a lot that we are getting a lot of feedback and we just... I mean, try to use this, and if people need other things, then sure, we can try to. That's awesome. Now, the reason why I brought that up is because I myself am an artist, and looking at your interface, it blew my mind. I may not have expressed that <laughs> initially, but it did. You know, it's to have, you know, you were moving around, you know, uh, a reticle of sorts, yes. you know, to get your desired sounds yes. and desired changes. and. 
I've never seen that before. Normally, it's like slide bars, and you sure. know, you choose a different yeah. things. Yeah. Slide bar, and you just, you know, but you had a, a spectrum, which you know, a spectrum is, it's amazing. That's that's an artist's dream right yeah. there. So, and I, I totally see your uh, your the inspiration from Instagram and things like that. It's a very beautiful interface. Thanks. So, let me ask you these three golden questions, <laughs> and those are. Where can we find this device? How much does it cost? And when will it be available? You can find the device on, on our website, but it will lead you to Indiegogo. So you can get it there. It will be available for $399. Um, and you will get it in spring this year, like for the regular, on the regular market. <laughs> Beautiful. No, I, uh, thank you very much, uh, Laura, right? Yes. Uh, thank you very much for showing you. off your device. And uh, tune in for more CES coverage here on uh, CES 2017. Go to PlugHitsLive.com. Please, uh, please check it out, and we will talk to you later.